What is going on guys, Nash here, and today, once again, I'm going to be showing you how to play with Mira and use her mirrors in your advantage so you can kill as many as people as you can, of course, and, you know, have the best possible way of viewing the room or the place that you're currently protecting. So, as Mira, you know, you can place mirrors on both reinforced and non-reinforced walls, and one of the, you know, proper ways of using the mirror wall is actually to reinforce the wall itself. So, once you reinforce the wall, you can place the mirror wall up or down. But of course, every way of using mirror wall has its advantages. So one of the most basic uses of mirror mirror is to put it only on one wall and leave the other wall non-reinforced. So, let's say the enemy is pushing you from down below into the garage and uh, you see the enemy right there on the wall. What you can do, uh, you can just actually peek around the wall and just start shooting. So, depending in which place you are, like if let's say the enemy is pushing right here, you can just pray a little bit. Of course, one of the things that you can do is already make a hole in the wall. So if makes it a little bit easier to shoot through that spot because you can actually aim at the target but of course you can do it totally like blinded by the uh, non-reinforced wall so you can surprise the enemy because he will not know at what time you are gonna shoot at him so if you have one reinforced wall just try to peek around it and kill the enemy now as for the other ways of using rear wall is that you can Place it on both of the reinforced walls. This is probably like the most casual and the most normal way that you can place a mirror wall. And the advantage it has is that you cannot be shot from the side like if you didn't have a non-reinforced wall to the left. So the advantage of this kind of wall is just, you know, just break it and start shooting at the enemy that is right in front of you. Of course, this brings some, uh, you know, disadvantages like if you break the window, you can get shot, so it's pretty easy for the enemy to, you know, strike you back if they have ACOX. So, yeah, this is pretty much like what everybody uses, but I just wanted to make a comparison to like non-reinforced and the uh, reinforced wall. Now, as for the other walls that you can make and that can be a bait is a non-reinforced mirror wall. So, uh, why would you make a wall... Or something like this so if you're like let's say protecting a hostage you can take a sit next to the hostage and start shooting at the wall and the enemy would be just glad at shooting at you and if they're not careful and they do not see you of course they can easily shoot the hostage and down him or even in the worst case kill him so uh, you can use a mirror wall like this especially in the house if the enemy is pushing the stairs and just start spraying through the wall and kill them. This is like really, really powerful way of using the mirrors. Of course, one of the way of using these mirrors is just, you know, just standing on the side of the wall and waiting for the enemy to start shooting so you know their current position. Or if the enemy is just not careful enough and they're trying to, you know, go from uh, one like this side of the room to the other, you can just start shooting it or just spring and uh, because you have the mirror and they do not see you, you can easily get a kill. Of course, this advantage of using this kind of mirror is, uh, you know, enemies can use grenades or charges and just screw up your mirror like this. So if the enemy has ash charges or Hibana or a termite or whatever breaching charge they can just go through. But of course, if you have a mirror like that, uh, the chances are they're not gonna get too close to the mirror and you know make some shots so this is pretty much an efficient way of using a bait mirror so you can call this kind of a you know bait mirror mirror or however you want to call it but that's that's just how i use this kind of nickname but yeah it's like pretty efficient if you have a hostage or if you have some kind of prop or an object you can hide behind and use the mirror mirror in your advantage if there's like uh, stairs or something like that like you can do really miracles of course you can place the mirror wall in the lower part and that can pretty much just abuse the use of mirror if you're like on a ground level because most of the enemies are not gonna crouch and walk towards the mirror because it is non reinforced so they can get shot easily so you can use that in your advantage and you know just start shooting and spraying to the wall and just getting the enemy so that's just one of the ways you can use this mirror while it's in the high position. Now, as for the mirrors that you can place low, there's actually a lot of ways of using them really efficiently. I'm, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. 
So as almost as you have reinforced almost all the walls, of course, I don't have any more uh, reinforced walls, but let's say it's reinforced. Uh, place the mirror in the lowest part of the reinforced walls like this. And what you can do now is uh, place a shield as close as you can to the mirror. So try to aim as close as you can like this. So what does this do? Well, this gives you an advantage over the players that are trying to get close. So let's say we break this and we wait for the enemies. Like they can shoot, of course, like this. If you're behind the shield, you can get easily shot. But if you are behind a shield like this and if the friendly player also puts like a shield right here, you can completely cover this wall. So if the enemy termite tries to go in, for the you know plant on the wall you can just go behind the friendly shield and just start shooting them and if you are an enemy you're not gonna have an easy way to you know start shooting people on the shield and that is because it is not easy to shoot somebody behind the shield so the distance that you have to cover for the shield to actually shoot at it you have to be like all the way back so if you're playing maps and don't have like a uh, falling road like this and it's actually flat and the enemy tries to peek you or like he tries to go prone most likely you are gonna get shot in the face if you are having an ACOG like if like a doc or a rook stands right here and starts shooting at the enemy because uh, you know the time that you need to prone and actually shoot at somebody you're gonna see their arms or legs just flapping around and you can just start immediately shooting and you know killing the enemies of course, this works better on maps like Coastline, which I'm going to show you in a second, because of the flat surfaces. So all in all, as I said from the previous map, you just put the mirror as low as you can and just put the shield right next to the mirror. So the closest you can get it, the better it is. So as the surface is flat and the enemy is just trying to get in there, they're not going to have an easy time approaching this window and actually having a shot and uh, you know this is like really efficient at shooting at the enemy's feet so this is the distance that I can shoot with my gun and of course the enemy can go from this side and try to shoot me but they will not see me and at the moment of time they just approach here and try to shoot they won't be able to because it's reinforced and there is a shield and as soon as they get close to the shield I'll have that you know distance and uh, the visibility of the enemy just trying to go next to the shield so this is really a advantage that you can get with the shield and I haven't seen a lot of people do it but you know this idea just popped up in my mind and I try to use it and it's really really efficient to use it with the shield of course you can do even crazier play like this like it all depends how you want to place mirror mirrors so like for fun you can do something like this and place a mirror wall right next to a reinforced one and uh, leave this a non-reinforced so let's say the enemy is trying to push from here and uh, you can just start shooting as soon as they move to this window and they'll be done or if the enemy is right on the entrance uh, you can just stand behind the shield and absorb all the shots the enemy is trying to you know shoot at you and as soon as they try to go in or as soon as they peek and they don't see you because the shield you can just pop out and shoot at them immediately and possibly or most likely get a kill like it all depends from your imagination also one way of using the non reinforced walls is to actually blow them up and use your mirror wall right next to it so if you're on the defense and uh, you know the enemy is most likely gonna go from that door what you wanna do is actually blow up this wall and as soon as you do that place your mirror charge as close as you can get it next to the non reinforced broken wall so as soon as you do that you'll see that you have a pretty much good advantage here because if the enemy is trying to peek you can just closely go around the mirror wall and peek yourself and kill the enemy and one of the things that you can do with the shield if you have it of course is of course put it next to the wall as close as you can so as soon as the enemy is pushing this side from this door, one of the things you can do, you can peek behind the shield or you can peek behind the mirror wall because it'll leave the enemy totally surprised because he doesn't know if you're going to be standing, crouching or proning. And that is the thing with mirror walls. Like if you're creative enough, you can do pretty much miracles. Like it all depends how you want to place the mirrors. But all in all, you want to place mirrors 
uh, that are looking sometimes from the point and sometimes in the point like if you're not going to be in the point and you're sure that you're not going to be in the point reinforce all the walls and put mirror mirrors because if the enemy is trying to get in and you're sure that they cannot go from this side just reinforce all the walls and put the mirrors from the outside so if you're sure as i said that they're gonna push in the room and you're not gonna be in it use the mirrors like this but if the enemy has like a guaranteed pick from the outside you always want to place the mirrors on the other side but yeah like as i said it all depends how creative you are like if the enemy is pushing multiple sides you can make multiple kill holes and question their you know shooting are they gonna shoot this hole this hole or this hole and you can pretty much shoot wherever you want because you're gonna be like really close to that shield and you most likely get a pick so yeah Mira introduces this new crazy meta that not a lot of people have been expecting but if used good um, you can get a lot of kills and you know even clutch it like one versus five if you know what you're doing but yeah guys I really hope you enjoyed my guide on how to use mirror walls uh, as I said previously like it all depends how creative you are and how you want to place your mirrors but I've shown you my ways of using it and I hope you'll be using it in your advantage so you can win games. But yeah, if you like this video, guys, drop a like on it. And of course, subscribe if you want. It's optional. And share the video if you want it, of course. And uh, yeah, leave a comment down below in the comment section. And tell me what do you think about this video. Did it help you with the mirror walls? And uh, how does it fare you in, you know, fights against the enemy team? But yeah, as always, have fun playing the Rainbow Six Siege game. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll be seeing you. Goodbye.